Have you ever been on a treasure hunt? Imagine the thrill of following clues, eliminating possibilities, and finally uncovering the hidden treasure. Well, get ready, because using a dichotomous key is a lot like embarking on a scientific treasure hunt. The dichotomous key is a scientific tool used to identify unknown organisms based on a series of choices. These choices are presented in pairs, with each choice leading to a further set of options until the organism is accurately identified. Now, why are these keys so useful? Imagine you're out exploring in the woods and come across a plant you've never seen before. With a dichotomous key, you can systematically compare its characteristics to the options provided, narrowing down possibilities until you pinpoint its identity. This tool helps us organize and categorize the vast diversity of life on our planet. Using a dichotomous key involves a systematic process of elimination based on observable characteristics. Here are seven easy steps to effectively using a dichotomous key. Step one, identify one organism at a time. Step two, start at the first pair of choices. Step three, choose between the two contrasting features. Step four, move on to the next step as directed by the key. Step five, repeat steps three and four. Step six, identify the organism. Step seven, start over with a different organism. Now, let's put this in action. I have here a fun monster dichotomous key. Let's begin with monster A and at step one. Does monster A have less than three eyes or does it have three eyes? Since monster A has two eyes, we move on to step two. Step two asks if the monster has one eye or two eyes. Since monster A has two eyes, we move on to step four. Step four asks if the monster has horns or no horns. Monster A has horns, so we can identify it as a goblin. Moving on to monster B, step one, does the monster have less than three eyes or does it have three eyes? Monster B has less than three eyes, so we move on to step two. Step two, does the monster have one or two eyes? Monster B has one eye, so we go to step three as instructed. Step three, does the monster have no arms or four arms? Since monster B has no arms, we can identify it as plushy. Let's identify monster C. Step one, does the monster have three eyes or less? Monster C has less than three eyes, so we move on to step two. Does the monster have one or two eyes? It has two eyes, so we proceed to step four. Does the monster have horns or not? Since this monster has no horns, we can identify it as Kraken. Moving on to monster D and starting at step one. Does the monster have three eyes or less than three eyes? Since Monster D has three eyes, we can identify it as Torchigan. Finally, we get to identify Monster E. Since we have identified all other monsters, we could conclude that Monster E is Reaper. But let's use the dichotomous key to confirm this identification. Step 1. Does the monster have three eyes or less than three eyes? Since Monster E has less than three eyes, we proceed to step two. Step two, does the monster have one eye or two eyes? It has one eye, so we can proceed to step three. Step three, does the monster have no arms or does it have four arms? It has four arms, so we can confirm the identity as Reaper. Thanks for joining me in this lesson. Now that you are an expert in using dichotomous keys, Let's move on to learning how to make our own dichotomous key.